Hello and welcome to the Pecan Planner video tutorial for drawing and editing polylines. Continuous and connected line segments, also known as polylines, which start out as 2D elements, are often the basis for the construction of 3D objects. In this tutorial, we'll first get to know the drawing tool itself and see how we use the ledger lines in combination with this tool. From there, we'll learn how to edit the polylines we create using interactors and we'll explore the possibilities of different line styles. Let's start by drawing a simple line. The tool for this can be found within the group Drawing Elements. To create a polyline, simply click in the workspace and set the first point of the line. A second click within the workspace will then define the endpoint of your line, which will also serve as the starting point for your next line. In order to achieve dimensional accurate lines, you can enter concrete values for both the length and the angle of the line by using your keyboard. The tab key will allow you to switch between the values, whereas presenting enter will confirm your entry for each requested value. As you draw, you will see the Pecan Planner provides ledger lines that make it easier for you to align the segments to one another. If you would like to use the dimensions for your previously set lines, move your mouse over the node of one of these lines during the drawing process, and a new ledger line will appear. You can then use this guide to align your new point. If you don't actively end the drawing process by clicking Exit in the Context menu or simply pressing Escape on your keyboard, the drawing process will continue until you've set an endpoint for your polyline. If you use the Line tool once again, you can add to the existing polylines and close it once again. Existing polylines can always be edited. Simply double-click on the object or click on the little icon at the top right. You can edit the shape of the object by clicking on the interactors or the line itself. If you move the mouse over one of the lines, additional interactors will appear. You can bend the line using the triangular interactor. With the help of the rectangular interactor, you can insert an additional point between two endpoints of a line. It is also possible to round the corners of a polyline. To do so, move the mouse to one of the corners. A triangular interactor will appear. If you click on this interactor, you can adjust the corner, or you can enter a specific radius using your keyboard. Just hit enter to confirm the value. When rounding the corner of a polyline, three new interactors will appear. Two outer interactors, which represent new points of the polyline, and a middle interactor, which is visible when you move the mouse over the corner. With this interactor, you can adjust the rounded corner. For two-dimensional drawing elements, several line segments or corner points can be selected at once. Start by clicking on the Edit icon, then hold down the Control key and click on the desired elements. The selected lines can be then moved together. What's great about this process is that the length of the selected lines, as well as their angles to one another, will remain the same, while all other lines and points will adapt and remain connected to the moved items. With this, you'll have a particularly large range when it comes to the free design of your objects. Additionally, you have the option to define a line style for drawing elements and closed polylines. You can do so using the Properties Editor. These changes are reflected in the real-time display, when printing, and when creating single images. Explore the possibilities of polylines and Pecan Planner for yourself or check out other basic tutorials and videos for specific functions and tricks. Have fun planning and experimenting!